name is Emma Shiflett. And I'm Kat Whittlesey. Welcome back to CBTV. A few announcements to get us started. This Friday, we'll be running on a short assembly schedule. And this past weekend, CV's Winter Guard placed first in their division at the Mesa Ridge High School competition. The annual Sadie's Dance was also held last weekend, so let's see how it unfolded. The theme of Sadie's this year is Neverland, so like Peter Pan and Captain Hook, all those characters. What is your role in the preparation for Sadie's? Uh, my role in the prep for Sadie's is kind of to oversee everything uh, and also to, to place the orders that we need to. We... Are you decorating for Sadie's? I am, yes. I'm going to help decorate a little bit. I don't, I'm not doing setup or anything, but just I'll help a little bit. What is the point of Sadie's? Um, instead of a guy asking a girl to dance, it's a girl asking a guy. I think the point of Sadie's is just have another dance, have fun. You know, it's just, I mean, you're in high school. Gotta have fun and go to dances. Will you be chaperoning Sadie's? Yeah, I'll be there. And we usually have about, I think we have about 14 or so staff members that are chaperoning it. Uh, we have a pretty good group of teachers that are pretty consistent that come out and do it, along with some administrators. I'll be helping at Kochek, food, serving people food, all those stuff. Yeah. How much time do you typically spend on planning the school dances? And we usually we have two sections of student government that meets A and B days, so it's about half the students in it, and we usually um, have one half of the group work on the on in a particular dance, and they they put in probably a good solid month of work at it with a little bit of extra time before that doing some pre planning. There are plenty of activities and sports at Castleview, some of which you may not even know about. A couple of CBTV staff members talked to Ms. Brown-Smith, the coach of CV Color Guard. They learned about the sport and all the efforts that these athletes all put in. Let's jump in. Well, my role in the CV Color Guard is that I'm Color Guard Director. I teach Color Guard for both the marching band under Mr. Seller and then whenever marching band season is done, I continue on with Color Guard in a class called Color Guard Techniques, and then during the winter, we do Winter Guard, so I become the director of the Winter Guard. Well, I think the, the biggest thing that I would give advice about would be to have a positive attitude towards it. Everybody has to start walking one foot in front of the other. It's the same way with Color Guard. You can't be throwing seven and eights on a rifle and a double or a triple on a flag without first knowing how to do a drop spin on a flag. So it takes a little bit of patience also. And then there is a time commitment, just with like any other sport, any other art, any other activity, there is time involved. So it's making sure you know how to schedule both your classroom time, your homework, if you have part-time jobs, things with your parents, and still be able to put Color Guard in there. But the Color Guard part always seems to be more fun. I am the Color Guard captain this year, so I lead the team. I manage practices, run stretches, kind of the go-to person. It is a team of dancers who dance with equipment, so either flag, rifle, sometimes saber, or alternative. So last year we had corners that we danced with, pieces of wood. Um, they were painted red, black, and purple. Um, but otherwise, it's just an, a dance team that we dance with equipment and we compete at football games with the marching band or without, depending on which season. I would definitely say come and try it out, just regardless of how you feel about it. Go and just either do flag, rifle, just dance. If you like to dance, even if you don't like to dance, just try it out. Um, but definitely pre be prepared for challenges and overcoming barriers, but always know that those barriers and challenges will always build you to be stronger. Well, you do need to be flexible, which I'm actually not that flexible, she is, <laughs> but um, you do need to be flexible. You have to have like some reflexes, not a ton of reflexes, but enough to like not get hit constantly. And yeah. That's, that's about it. We, it's this part of marching band, it can, it can be not part of marching band, but it's a part of marching band usually. Um, that uses equipment and dance to kind of help visually represent the show. And it, uh, like, it oftentimes like, just adds some flair to marching shows. Valentine's this year, the school is continuing the tradition of Valograms. If you don't know, Valograms are where you pay CV's choir to sing a song to the person of your choosing from one of the songs on their list. Let's take a closer look from the choir students themselves. Sometimes in our lives, we 
We all have pain. So Valgrind is an event going on on February 13th where you can buy a carnation or rose. Carnations are $3 and roses are $5. And you can also choose a song out of the list of songs that we will have posted. And we will come around to your classes and sing to whoever you give it to. So we like doing this because it's a good way to connect with the community at Castleview and it's also fun to embarrass your friends every once in a while. Take my hand, take my whole life too, for I can't help falling in love with you. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, we've put together several Valentine's Day themed crafts to get you in the mood. Let's take a look. For you this week, Castleview. Thanks for watching this week's episode. For our more CV Media content, you can check out our YouTube channel or our website. Once again, I'm Emma Shiflett and I'm Kat Whittlesey. We'll see you next time on CBTV. CBTV.